If you got a new merchant account number by changing processing companies, or you got a new Clover station, and in the new Clover station you guys with a different company, or you closed your business and you opened it again and they give you a different merchant account number, or if you sold your business and you're a new owner taking over from the previous business owner, and you want to have these orders print to your Clover device, not his Clover device or her Clover device, then here's the steps you're gonna to have to take to make it print to your new device. So for example, as you can see this website here, if I press order online, what was gonna happen is gonna take me to the order online page. And this menu here prints to the specific Clover that I was originally assigned to. So if you want this these orders to print to the new Clover device, you'll have to change the API key. So again, in this example, this scenario, this order online page is on the merchant's own website, right? If it's on if it's on your own website, then you have to delete the plugin and reinstall it again. So let me show you what I mean by that. Here is Clover.com, okay? You guys are familiar with this. When you get a new merchant account number, you'll it will show you the different locations you have, okay? So the first thing you need to do is you need to open up that new location or the new account you have. So for example, I'm gonna go ahead and click on Sam's Restaurant here. I'm gonna pretend this is my new merchant account number, my new account, my new ID. Next thing you do is when you next thing you do is you install the smart online order on the new account. How do you do that? You press more tools here, right? More tools. Okay. And then what I do now is I install it. So what I do is I do a search for smart online order. So I type in smart online order. Or you can just type in online order. So the smart online order has a blue icon. When you see this icon, you want to install it on your new account. Okay. Since I already installed it, the only thing I have to do is press open app. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead, press open app. When I press the open app button, it will take me to this screen where it's going to ask me a few questions. In this example, um, what's happening is the, the online order page is located on my own website. So I have a WordPress website. So I'm going to click on this right here and then press next. Once you press next, it'll give you the API key. Okay. You're going to copy the API key onto your order online page. Okay. And then let me show you one thing you do after you do that. Once you have everything set up and taken care of, you want to go back over here again and go to your old account. Let's say I change my business name from Mike's restaurant to Sam's restaurant. I go to Mike's restaurant, the old account. Okay. Make sure it's double check to make sure this is the old account. Okay. The way you can tell is click on transactions. If you don't even see any transactions in the last 10 days or 30 days, that means uh, you haven't used it or you just changed over. Or if you're familiar with, uh, you know, um, if, if there's no transactions the last couple of days, then you can uh, make an educated guess that this is the old account. But always confirm, okay? Because we don't want you to uninstall it from the wrong location. So let's suppose this is my old account. All I do is I press more tools. I press installed apps. And then I find smart online order here. And then... Uh, when I press install apps, I don't have to search for it. You can you can just find all your apps there. So for example, I'm gonna start over again. I'm gonna press installed apps. Okay, and this I'm gonna pretend this is my old merchant account before I got my new device or or I changed bank accounts. And I'm gonna search for smart online order. Remember, uh, you have to press next if you don't see it. There's a next button on the bottom right. Press it until you find it. Right? So you're gonna keep doing next until you find it. So I, I did install apps. Okay, so let's try again. Okay, so if you don't see it, do a search. Okay, if you don't see it, that means it's already uninstalled. In this example, I had already uninstalled it, but in your case, what you would do is you press the uninstall button, okay? So let me show you how to uninstall it. So for example, uh, let's just say, let's pretend Sam's Restaurant is my old account. I'm gonna uninstall it. This is important because what happens is merchants get a new Clover device or change merchant processing companies because they got lower rate or better credit card fees from a different company, and then they forget to uninstall apps from the old account. So you wanna make sure to uninstall, uh, not, not just smart online order, any app that you're no longer using. So let's say I have all these apps installed. You wanna go ahead one by one and uninstall them. But in this case, I'm just gonna focus on smart online order because I am gonna use this app on my new location. So I, got, I go through next, next, until I find smart online order. Once I find it, right there it is, and then, um, 
you press uninstall. How do you uninstall it? You see this three dots right here? Press this and press uninstall. Okay, once you press it, it'll uninstall it. Okay, this you uninstall from your old account, not from your new one. Okay, so I'm pretending this is my old account. Okay, now, now that I had um, mentioned earlier, once you get the API key, so how do you get the API key again? You install the app on your new account, and once you install it, open Smart Online Order, and then select the first option to get the API key right here. Press Next, get the API key. And what do you do after you get the API key? You copy it. So uh, let's pretend I already copied it to my clipboard, and I'm gonna go back to my own website. And what do I do next? I go on the back end. Okay, I press Clover Orders, I press Plugins, I press Installed Plugins. And I'll explain to you uh, the process of why I'm doing this. <clears throat> the reason why I'm doing this is because I want to use my new API key, right? Because when I go to Clover Order Settings, you'll notice that in the Clover Order Settings, there's already an API key associated with this online order menu right here. So this API key is the old one because when I uninstalled it, this API key, the old one will no longer work. It's, it's disconnected. It's invalid. Okay. So what I do now is I have to reinstall the plugin. So you may see this option to put your API key, but you want to start fresh. Um, let me show you what I mean by that. So you go to plugins. Okay. And then just delete the plugin and reinstall it. So I'm going to go over here. See smart online order installed plugins I'm gonna deactivate it and then delete it right here delete remember when you delete it uh, one thing I want to mention to you is once you delete it any images that you upload it you'll have to re-upload it again okay any description you add you have to re-add it again so that's the drawback of getting a new merchant account is because you have to do the, some of the things you already did previously you have to do it again why is that is because the new Clover POS device has different item ID numbers for each of your inventory items. So we have to reinstall it so that this item, this category here, let me let me explain what I mean by item ID numbers uh, so you can get an idea. Let me, let, me, uh, let me just delete it for now. And then I'm gonna, I'll, I'll explain the item ID numbers uh, so you can get an idea what that is. I'm gonna press add new, and then I'm gonna search for Clover. Or you can search for Smart Online Order right here. I'm going to install it again. It's a fresh install. The reason why I'm doing a fresh install is because I have a new merchant account number. And with my new merchant account number, I want to reinstall it to put the API key in there. Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and um, it's already activated. And then I press Clover Order Settings. And then what I do now is I go ahead and I um, uh, copy and paste my API key. And then paste it, save changes, and then import your inventory, okay? After you do that. Um, that's And then you follow the steps. Remember, uh, there's a video dedicated to, to after you install it. I'm sure if you, you've already done the first time, you'll know what to do again. But if you forget how to do it, go over here, click on video tutorials, and watch my other video. It tells you how to install it or import the inventory. But as you can see, it's very easy. You can just press import inventory or import it. And then you'll go through your categories, you'll hide the ones you don't need. You'll do all those things that you did previously, okay? Add your delivery hours, hide your order types. And one thing I want to mention uh, is that when you reinstall it, remember your new Clover device may not have the same settings as before. What do I mean by that? Is that, for example, <clears throat> when you go to the setup app, okay? You have to make sure your business hours are added to your new Clover device or your new Clover merchant account. Many times merchants reinstall reinstall the app and they forget to check that their new account has their business hours. So you have to make sure the business hours are there. And you also have to go to order types, okay? Order types right here. And you have to make sure you have more than two order types. If you have just two order types, that means those order types are only for the online ordering. You have to make one new order type for your in-store customers. So how do you do that? You create a new order type and say in-store purchase or whatever name you want to give it. I'm just, just making an example here. And then make this one default, okay? So in-store purchase will become default. Anyway, just like that, save it. That's default. So these are the these are the order types that are for in-store customers. And then you also have to make sure you press order receipts. 
check the box order note right here this is very important because if you don't check this box you won't know the customer uh, the special instructions like they're gonna say extra water extra napkin you want to read that on the receipt you also want to check this box show customer info make sure it's checked on the new account why is because you want to know who's ordering let's say Bob orders uh, you want to know Bob's name so that he, when he comes up you can give him the food and do the same thing for payment receipts okay I'm gonna save this one and then press payment receipts and then also check this box right here customer information and that's it um, and again once you do that uh, your order online page is uh, ready to go but there's one last step you have to do and that is to get your orders to print so how do you do that press video tutorials right here okay or do this actually let me show you how to do it um, click on feedback help right here press this right here this is very important for you to remember this this link because it tells you a lot of information so click on this link and then type in auto print auto print once you type in auto print or print uh, click on the first link and then follow the instructions on how to get your new clover to auto print okay this is very important press settings and then just follow these steps and I'll, there's also a video here you can watch on how to do that all right and those are the steps needed to have your merchant account uh, your new merchant account working with your new clover POS okay thank you so much have a great day